Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is time yes, to head back to Baldur's Gate. Done. Why is that white? Yeah. You have been waylaid by enemy oh, you must defend it. Greetings, hello. Who's Sam? Hey guys, remember your old buddy Sam? <laughs> It was good to see you all again. Lots happened since you were gone. I've been hearing all sorts of things. I heard you guys are wanted for murders. <clears throat> so yeah, murders, eh? Well, I still like you. Hey, got some more info, information. You want to hear it? What you got for me? Well, <clears throat> quite a bit. I have quite a bit. Did you know about Duke Alcan? He's diseased, he is. He's, his second-in-command, Scar, got killed. <clears throat> Assassinated. Assassinated he was. So that's it. Gotta get going now. If you want to talk to me more, just come by the Blushing Mermaid. Indeed. We should probably do that. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever... I don't really remember that guy. I, I really, I really don't. Who's a pretty kitty? Who's a pretty kid? Uh, what it mm. Anyway, <clears throat> we do have to be very careful. Let's go talk to Silence and see if she has any... See if she has any uh, invisibility potions. It will be done. <sighs> Come on, you among all people should have invisibility potions. What are you doing with your life? Indeed. Sorcerer's it will be done. should have some. Ugh, we need not to not ah. flaming fist. Nope. This is exactly what I was trying to What? Hmm. I'm just gonna have to haste it. Oh Valak. It will be done. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Hello, Baconia, are you... No, you're only 59, or 60. Why are you so slow? That's why. I forgot she had that ring. Cause nah. Oh, Jesus. If you insist. All right. <clears throat> Now, Natha. There we go. I serve the flaming mm. fist. You boys need to piss off. I serve the flaming fist. I must talk to you in private. Tomoko. These are troubled I apologize times. for not being more open, but these are troubled times. If you could be permitted to speak with me for a moment, I believe I have something you would want to hear. Perhaps we could help each other. I would know whom to whom I'm, I am speaking. I do not take candy from strangers, as it were. You may call me Tomoko. I do not presume to be your friend or even someone you should trust, but fate demands that I place myself at your disposal. I have details worth listening to, and again, I must ask if you are interested in a trade of sorts. Do you wish to hear what I have to tell? Say what you must. I'll listen. I shall explain my, myself in further detail when I have time. Until then, I have nothing, I have but one thing to say. The one who claims to be, to heal Duke Elton's sickness is also the one who breeds it. Likely, there have been signs that suggested this to you, but none have said, said it so plain. <clears throat> Do not, no doubt you have with the wherewithal to follow through on it. Your very nature gives you above average confidence. Orion's tutelage could only have enhanced this. Don't speak that name. I'll not have you solely the memory of the only family I've ever known. But that was not the family that you knew. You. Or that's not the family. But that was not the family that 
knew you and knows you now. I think you feel the pull. I think you strain against it still. Uh, again, you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know yourself. There are three things that are strength incarnate. There is love of life, the fear of death, and there is family. A family that loves death would have a strong pull indeed. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know. Who hates me? And what have I deserved? What have I done to deserve such hatred? What have you done? You exist, and chaos will be sown. That is the way it was intended. Though I hope that I hope to change it. I must go. You must go to Duke Elton, protect him from his own healer. I will wait near the Flaming Fist headquarters. We shall speak again, and I shall have something to ask you. Simple enough. Man, you don't even have... You don't even have potions of invisibility. Whatever. Fine. Yeah, can Indeed. you dodge those guys? We're gonna have to do this haste thing again once we get to the flaming fist compound. It will be done. You don't. The potion shop. Without the potions, I want. I think I checked this before, too. Oh well. Indeed. Hmm. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are Such absolutely insolence. dreadful. His popularity may be soaring, but I'll not cast a vote for a lout such as he. The nerve of the man. What troubles you, my lady? It is, of course, it is. If it is any of your concern, I am simply furious that Saravok, that Saravok man, at that Saravok man, I did not raise a fortune in the city by letting such as he stroll off with my assets. I have had dealings with the Iron Throne Mercantile Group for some time now, and though I did not approve of some of their other ventures, they were at least honorable business people in their contracts with me. Now Saravok needs them, and he has all but declared my previous deals null and void. You're gonna get no sympathy from me if you got if you lost gold dealing with a group like the Iron Throne. If I were not already incensed at Saravok, I would stop the tear and strip off you two. As it is, I must speak with the Grand Dukes about Saravok's conduct. Imagine. He secures himself as leader of the Iron Throne, and then all but destroys its mercantile credibility by practically sacking it. He may be bolstering the city with its assets, but it's still it's still unprofessional. Something strange is going on in that Iron Throne building, I tell you. I know their power, their previous leadership was killed, but those members remaining would still never let such treatment come to pass. Not willingly, anyway. You need something stranger. But I serve yep. the oh, damn it. Fist. I clicked over there, you fuck. Halt and hold. You stand accused of murder most foul. You will lay down your arms and come with us by order of Angelo... Dosan, uh, Dosan, you will be killed where you, st or by order of Angelo Dosan, you will be killed where you stand. Such is his order. I cannot alter it. It is your choice. I'm innocent, and I shall not submit myself to the judgment of this Angelo. Scar is your proper superior. That may be so, but Scar is dead, and Angelo is his proper replacement. We in the ranks have no other choice but to obey his other his orders, suspect though they may be. You must decide. Submit and face judgment, or fight here and die. I have no choice, but you do. No, I mean, I, bro, fuck, fuck, I hate the fighting fist. I'll fight you then. I have no such can conflict, though such conflict can only hurt my reputation in the eyes of the, uh, eyes of the people. Then I must carry out the sentence by decree of angel. You will pay for your crimes. There is no, there is no escape from the fighting fist. Yes, there is. I am the law. Come on. I'm gonna let him get close and we're just gonna, we're gonna juke for days. Oh. 
Hopefully that's good news. And then we're gonna come across Tomoko. I must talk to you in private. I see you've sought me out as I thought you would. I have things that must be said, things that are important to both of us. But I have one condition to my discourse. You must agree before I speak. A promise I seek, and I will accept no less. This is the woman, the heavily armored woman that was with Sarabok when they killed Gorion as soon as we left Candlekeep. It was her and him were the two that survived, while all the, the others, the ogres and whatnot, got killed. All right, you have my word. Okay, we don't. We do not have to honor this. There's no Gaius that's holding us to uh, the conditions of. Th this is just. We'll play along. I thank you. Here's my request, though it may seem quite odd. I charge you to defeat Sarabok, the man behind all your woes. You must destroy him. You must destroy his plans and stop his schemes in his track. You must strip him of the belief that he can succeed in his path he follows. You must do this for me. And you must also leave him his life. I will, I will help him to live his life as a man, and not as the god he thinks he can be. I do not see how such a thing is possible. He sought to destroy me, and I have only responded in time. Sarabok seeks to destroy everyone, not just you. You are a particular interest because of your shared origins with him. You are, you are a possible rival, and one of few that are worthy of his personal attention. Above all else, you are family. I see this is startling news, though you likely suspected as much. Does this disturb me? It should not. Monsters are often closer to us than we like to think. You are siblings, and the paths open to him are yours as well. Though he's been racing down his from his earliest days. You had Gorion to guide you, did you not? Sarabok had no one. He draws his strength from his hatred from the thought of rising above those he knows to be inferior. His divine blood hungers for conquest, and that is why he must be defeated, not, but not killed. He serves another, but does not know it. Divine blood, he serves another, of what do you speak? The child becomes the father, or desperately wishes so. The blood pulls, calls, and demands. The wise Alondo did say unto the ages, that the Lord of Murder will perish and his doom and his doom would spawn his mortal progeny. Chaos would be sown in their passage, but to what purpose? You have felt the hunger and heard the offerings of power? Saravok thinks that they are true, and so he seeks a senseless war and a slaughter of a scale so grand to defy description. He thinks it will launch him to to what? Possibly he's right, but I cannot lose him to this. Why do you oppose him if you so clearly care for his life? Saravok is... I share Saravok's company, and would do so until I die, given the choice. That is all you need to know. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. I do not believe he will survive his plan, and it is all based on conjecture at best. He feels that he has been chosen, and that he will become more than he is. I do not share this belief. Gods are not known for bequeathing powers, especially if they have foreseen their deaths. Whatever he is, I would keep I would keep him here, grounded firmly among those of all of us that are flesh. <sighs> We're, I'm going to kill him. Spoiler alert. I am going to kill this bitch. I'll strive to stop him and do what I can to see that he lives. I thank you. Saravok can be redeemed as you should, as you should, as could you, should you one day pursue the same path. For now, I shall speak in secrets to aid you. Duke Eltan may be saved, but Duke Entar Silvershield has been killed outright. The murderers have acted with anonymity, anonymity, but I know, I know who and where they are. You must go to the Undercellar. Return if you have... Return if you have already been. There you will find Sly, 
and Krista, two unsavory beings that revel in violence in the violence their box allows them to commit. They are no more animals than they are no more than animals in human guise, even by the standards of company of the company to keep. Kill them, and you shall know much of the plan. If you do not know where the undercellar is lo located, then go to the sewers. You will find the entrance there. They'll not live another day. I shall seek out. I shall see their heads roll. Send an animal to kill an animal. Appropriate, if unsavory. Perhaps you could. Perhaps you could. There is another that should be removed. Atop the Iron Throne base is a woman whose influence is a poison in Sarabok's soul. If she was removed, I know he would listen to reason to my plea. Uh, Sithandria is her name. And she holds much power in this matter. She seeks Sarabok's favor as well, though she is content if, the, if he self-destructs, so long as she profits from profits indeed. I must go. Sarabok cannot know I have helped you. All right. So we're going to go Very in. Very well. If you insist. We're going to come up here and we're going to talk to Kent. Every crime must be punished. You there. Shh. Don't make too much noise. My name my name's Kent and I want to talk to you. Another flaming fist. Get out of my way before I kill you. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, I thought he was going to fight. Hmm? I shouldn't have done that. That guy was going to help us, but I've never chosen that option before. So I figured he might see reason in my, or not reason. I figured he might see, like, try to calm me down. Be like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm different. But no. He cried about it and left. Who are you? What are you doing in here? We know who you are. So you figured out the truth, meat. It'll do you little good. Guards! Before my guards get here, I should be able to deal with you myself. Well, you, you are welcome to try. <laughs> Our first draw upon Holy Knight. 21, 18, 19. Take it. Man, mm. that was beautiful. Oh, I'm, so I'm again in your debt. That creature has kept me helpless for too long. Perhaps I hadn't, if I hadn't been incapacitated, I might have been able to prevent Scar's death. Angela was soon here of my recovery. It is important that you take me away from here. I'm sure Angela won't won't want me coherent. And I'm a, well, what? I'm literally, I'm sure Angela won't want me coherent. And among the living. Take me to the Harbor Master's building. The Harbor Master is a good friend of mine. I can rest there until I'm fully recovered. Take this letter. I managed to, to filch it off Rashad, Rashad when he was caring for me. From what I've read of it, it seems that Saravok has dire plans for the city. I fear that he, for the lives of my fellow Dukes, Leah and Belt. If they were to die, Saravok would take over the city. You must find Slide and Kristen. Stop them. Hurry, we must make haste. Speak fine. Very well. Sorry, friend. But what foolishness is this? Are you trying to storm the Flaming Fist compound? You'll find no friends here, Thal. Angelo commands. Angelo now commands the Flaming Fist. Friends of the Duke Eltan can expect death from Angelo's new order. Two arms. Falcon co cohorts have broken into the compound. Nope. Little taste for sleeping in a dog pile with you, River. Find me an inn. Let's get out of here, people. Oh, Christ. 
give me a tap simple enough. All right. Very well. Indeed. Third person on fire. Do I have something that prevents being held? Well, let let's yes. see if we save. Fine. All right. Make sure everyone else gets away. Indeed. Going. Don't you, don't you. I dig the code. The Kona? The new glasses? It will be done. That's where we need to go. Let's go this way. Simple enough. Yep, there's tensions rising between us, uh, between us and Om. There'll be war and plague soon. Pestilence, better them than us, I say. Plague and pestilence from what? Some jackass. Man. Hmm. I'm in the middle of doing a Benny Hill scene from the Flaming Fist, and this guy—that's when he chose to talk. Gonna drop these guys off. The flaming fist. I am the law. I serve the flaming oh. fist. You look lost, citizen. Can I be of assistance? No. Very well. Hmm. Couldn't we just like wake up hmm. Duke Elton? Like, smack him around a little bit and be like, hey, tell these guys to stop. Nasty times are coming, By the bitch queen's breath, that's Duke Elton you have there. He's he's looking in a bad way. Leave him here with me. I'll make sure he's alright. You're the people who've been working for Scar and Elton against the Iron Throne. Well, I'm sure you have much to do, so you should get a move on it. Don't worry about Elton. Elton, Elton. I think it's Elton, actually. I'll keep good care of you. I've got I've got to get him to a safe place. Good luck. Very well. So we are if gonna go to such. the blushing mermaid, I think. And we're if gonna meet up with that Hassan guy. I've not done that before. And I d I don't think I really remember that. We need to go up here. I serve oh my the God. Flaming no. fist. And then we need to go to the right. Yes. It will be done. Oh, no, here he is. Usam. Hey, it's me. I've got to talk to you. Just follow me. Oh, all right. Show us where you want to go. Those... Our shadow thieves. Oh boy. Sure. My actions are yours. They have little taste for sleeping in a Sorry for misleading you, but there are times when subtlety works better than honesty. My associates and I don't want to fight, so we could ease so we could ease the tension. If all of this has sheathed our sheathed our weapons. Okay. I have never seen Shadow Thieves in Baldur's Gate 1. Huh. Alright, we don't want to fight either. We'll give you a chance to explain yourself. The truth, this time. 
Okay. First off, my name isn't really Hussam. I've never owned a business in Baldur's Gate. My associates and I belong to an organization called the Shadow Thieves. I'm sure you've heard of us. I'm here in the gate because of lies spread about our organization and the nation of Am as a whole. I'm sure you're aware of how you were framed in, as an Omnian assassin while in Candlekeep, or how the deaths of Duke Eltar, Silvershield, and Commander Scar were blamed on the Shadow Thieves. Well, we had nothing to do with it. It seems as though... It seems that someone is going through a lot of trouble to create the feeling of animosity between Baldur's Gate and Om. Om has never been interested in a war with the city, and has definitely not been responsible for all the troubles in the region. All of that can be placed squarely in the shoulders of the Iron Throne, and more specifically, Saruman. Now that I've told you who I am, perhaps you could tell me who you are. Uh, just mercenaries have been hired by Duke Elton to investigate the Iron Throne. Mercenaries, huh? Well, your employer isn't the best shape right now, so perhaps you need some help. And how do you plan on helping us? I've been tracking the movements of two night masks who have been operating in the city over the past few weeks. I'd say they were responsible for framing past several murders in the Shadow Thieves. And I know they've been staying in a place called the Undercellar. How about we pay them a little visit? That's... That's the, uh... Two we're after. Follow us to the shrine of... To the Ilmater Shrine. It has one of the entrances to the Undercellar. So, I'm pretty certain that it is uh, Slyth and Kristen. Wait a minute. Do we need to rest? That haste. No. But we are. We put our stone skins on. Even a dwarf's got are these... Are, am I going to get Shadow Thieves to help me in the fight? Because that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Here we are. The interest is in the back. We'll stay up here and run interference. Oh, damn. Damn it. That would have been cool having Shadow Thieves helping. The two of you are looking for names of Slythe and Kristen. Talk to the priest in the temple. He'll get in, he'll get you into the Undercellar. Meet up with us when you're ready and you've dealt with the assassins. Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Very well. Priest of the Mayor. Arms for the poor. Arms, arms Here we for go. The poor. Ah, it is you. The one who took such an interest in the theological nature of the flesh and sins. There'd be a passage leading off my there be a passageway leading off my quarters, which may allow you to investigate such sins close at hand. It <clears throat> leads to a place called the Undercellar. Would you be interested in coming? Yeah. Well, that's perfect. You oh shit! It save. will be done. And they are right here, so we are going to. We are going to buff. What do I want? You know, I think... I think a double magic missile is fine. Let's put a resist fear up. Protection from evil radius. Huh, you're a queer fellow. Go ahead, put shield on yourselves. A 
Again, you disturb me. Cat's grace on Kagan. You put it on Phallic. Eh? What do you want? I want. Come here, enemy. I don't think she needs a minor globe for this fight. Well, armor of faith. And pop your Phallic. I mean, we have so many, we have so many strength potions going for us, so Cloud Giant, you go ahead and drink that. Phallic. You go ahead and drink that. Well, let's go. Look at Kristen, honey. It's the heroes of the Sword Coast. Da, yeah, uh, look, Kristen, deep. honey. <laughs> I don't know, Sly. They're so big and threatening. Oh, my mistake. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking of someone else. Oh, she's got a tongue of steel and a heart of gold, my Kristen does. And she's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible so guys don't give her hassle. Not that they would with a tough guy like me looking after her, of course. Slidey baby, you tell him, honey. <laughs> oh, baby, you know me. You know you're slithy. Hey, you don't go watching us with... You don't go... You... Oh, my God. Hey, you. Don't you go watching us go all mushy, all right? It ain't none of your business. What's with what's that you whispering, sweetheart? Hey now, my girl Kristen tells me you guys have all have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. Sure is a shame about entire Silver Shield, isn't it? One down and two to go, poor Dukes. Wouldn't it have been better if they had all died together? Ah, Kristen, don't give it all away like that now. It's on what do you call that again? The silver bladder? Ah, enough of this cat and mouse stuff anyhow. I ain't cut it. I ain't cut out for it. We'll kill him now and do the dukes after lunch, like Saravok said, said us to. Hmm. I love you for your mind, Slide. All right, bitch. Kristen, love, keep your mind on your work. We're professionals over here. We're professionals over here. Shut up and blade faster. <laughs> Looks like tough times for us, honey. Hey, fellas. Guess what time it is? Yep, you got it. It's time to die. All right, so Slythe has Potion of Magic Protection. And who knows what else we got going here. So, Edwin. Toss out a Greater Malison. Vaconia. Yeah, I want you to detect invisibility. And I'm one. done had enough of this. Alright, so Kristen casts protection for magical weapons. And you can see that she's right there. There she is. Stone scan, protection for magical weapons, shield, protection from normal missiles. Phallic. Get on the useless. Actually, <coughs> Kagan, do you have? Yep. Phallic. Swap places with Kagan. Let's. Toss out a glitter dust. So she can't go invisible again.
No, magic missile is not going to work. She has shield. Try to blind her. And when you try to stun her, Baconia. I think, Vaconia, you should just attack. So their saving throws are lowered. Slive is dead. Another cloak and non detection. Master Thievery. Alright, she's blinded. Very well. She's got glitter dust. She can't go invisible again. Pegan, you just beat on her. You know what? We could. Could play around here. Because she's basically at our mercy. That's an AoE. What do we have to play with? Ice knife? Yeah, why not? Why not? <clears throat> oh, it explodes. She frozen? Oh, no longer protected from magical weapons. Goodbye. You are so irritating. Normally, I mean, that fight can be pretty tough. The Shadows go. Increases backstab multiplier. That's thieves only. That sucks. Oh well. I think this is a special dagger, too. Yeah, the Grave Binder. Oh. Plus two dagger. Don't need it. Alright, so that's just a plus one, that's just a plus one uh, sling. That's a cool touch. Yeah, Vampiric touch. Flame arrow will take clairvoyance. Sure. Okay. And down here, we do need to pick these up. Uh, Kizka, I must commend you for I must commend you for a job well done. Without your careful ministrations, L10 would have been reminded remained as my most potent foe. I must now ask for another favor. Some of your brethren, some of your, oh, I lost my face. Some of your brethren are gathering at the sewer entrance to the palace. And they are preparing to assassinate Grand Duchess Leah ja Janet and Grand Duke Belt. I need you to assist them in their efforts, for you the craftiest of your kind. This is the moment I have long waited for, as I hope you have as well. The bloodshed that will result when I declare war on Om will be most glorious. Meet Kristen and Slide at the Undercellar. They are my best assassins. There are many access points to the Undercellar through the sewers. Slide. The time to strike is now. 
when my when the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with my doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance to the palace. You are you are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I have finished my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelgangers will proceed without you, and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on that little bitch of a wife. An invitation to the party is included with this note. Ceremony. This looks to be important. You should hold on to it. Done. This is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Dukes of Butler's Gate. Yep. And hang on to this as well. Okay, again, hold this. All right. Simple enough. If you insist. Little taste for sleeping in a dog pile with you, Rivel. Find me an inn. We. I'll not keep this pace without the rest soon. We should probably rest. Very well. Maybe. Even a dwarf's got a limit to his stamina. <clears throat> Indeed. Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Everybody's tired. We'll just pretend the if you coronations you tomorrow. Tonight you sleep hunted oh. by all and wake in a dream hunted by one. Tonight you are the monster everyone claims you are. The kobold scorned like a rodent. The ogre that children fear comes in the night. The mobs and their torches now come for you, counting you among the creatures you once did hunt. Or so someone would have you believe. Once again, you hear the voice, a voice that now makes no secret of its origins. It speaks of destiny and nature, and of evils bred in the bone. It says you will never be free of the mob, that they will hunt you for what you are. Murder and death run through your heart, and accepting that will supposedly give you power. The essence of Baal within you cannot be ignored. But you have not ignored it. You realize that from the first you have fought the very blood in your veins, fought dagger and claw for each victory, and ultimately you have triumphed. With righteous will, you have turned the dark forces within you to good purpose. Whatever the foundation of your being, you have remade yourself in your own image. Amidst threats it does not yet know are empty, the voice tries to play upon your doubts, but finds none. As you stare unwavering, the presence grows weaker and weaker. As it fades from your mind, one warning does stand out amidst the din. It speaks of others that will listen where you have not, others that will embrace what you have rejected, and others that will be your death. This describes but one man, and you know of no other it could be. He who orchestrated your fall, deceived your comrades, and deserves all that your justice shall meet upon him. Saravak. He is a debt that must be paid to the whole of the Sword Coast. You awake sure of your cause, and of what must be done. Uh, draw upon holy might again. Oh, I got a, I got two of them now. Excellent. Okay, we will go ahead and well, slightly past time, but we'll end the episode here and pick it up in the next one. I'd like, thank you all for watching. And as usual, if you have any comments or suggestions or otherwise, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope to see you all in the next one.